We interrupt our regular programming of this program for some irregular programming of another program. Gather round the wireless kids, it's time for an oral spanking. That's right, it's time for Hectic Justice, Episode 4, The Boobies of Winston. It's time for more Hectic Justice. Starring Hester Monroe, single female lawyer trying to cut it in a man's world. God damn it! My heaving breasts. Zoe Legless, tell her like it is, detective. Quick, you beautiful moron, to the police car. Judge, Anna Fizzlebottom, corrupt, sexy judge with the stiff upper lip. God damn it, I should never have let you into my office with your tasty ring. <laughs> and Chief Booby Winston, the tough as nails chief of police with ample bosom. Aye, great first day spreaking, you stupid bumbling twat. Hectic justice. Hectic. You both. Sergeant Lucky Sprigging and our sexy heroine, Hester Monroe, sit at a table opposite each other as a snooty waiter waits upon them with disdain. Thank you, waiter. We'll have a bottle of your finest champagne. Yeah, but of course, madame. And may I say how a short the skirt is of yours? Oh, bon pantalon, him. Is a very short the skirt, him, oui? Why, thank you. And may I in turn comment upon your dubious accent? Uh huh. Oui, oui. Bonsoir. And uh, fuck you. Merci. Candles alone. Romance is in the air. Hester and Spriggan look into each other's eyes. The waiter brings champagne and goes to open it, but Lucky jumps in. No, no, let me do that. It will give me a chance to be endearingly clumsy. <sighs> You're so romantic. No, I'm Lucky. Yeah, monsieur. Now, how do I... Uh, you just hold it in your legs, like this. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, where, uh, and then you just pull slowly and gently out until you pop, d'accord? Oh, let me try. <laughs> so I, I squeeze and pull the cork. Uh, where? But uh, that is my penis. Oh! <laughs> Spriggan finally squeezes, pulls slowly and firmly, and pops his cork. <laughs> Oh, crikey, Dick! Um, bravo, sir. Oh, oh, gosh darn it! I really am most dreadfully sorry! Oh, golly, dread it all! I'm a devilishly handsome nincompoop! Yes, well, never mind. Just just pour the drinks, will you? Oh, I guess I guess now we know why it's called champagne. <laughs> why, lucky! <laughs> That's a real corker. <laughs> well, you really shouldn't... Wine so much. Uh, I, I see our humour's <laughs> been pulled from the same joke cabinet. <laughs> it's quite a sparkling tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they say puns like charades. <laughs> <laughs> what? You had me at Malone. <laughs> oh, Hester. Oh, you really are so clever with these punny witticisms. And that skirt is practically a belt. <laughs> oh, cheers. Legs. <laughs> Hester gently leans her glass in, but Lucky is too enthused and the glass smashes entirely. Oh, oh! crikey, Dick. Oh, oh, you know, I was quite nervous before coming here because, well, I rather thought I'd make a complete bumble tired of myself. <laughs> And I really don't want to ruin my chances of, uh, well, you know. Uh, <laughs> Thinking of getting lucky? Lucky? 
I already am because my name. Can I get this uh, anything else? Uh, le dignité or the intellect? Yes, uh, for dessert, I believe we'll have two of your finest, uh, how you say, le donuts with les sprinkles, garcon. Oh, wow, you speak French. <laughs> yes, well, uh, oui, oui, madame, you smell. <laughs> Pardon moi, monsieur. Unfortunately, we cannot find any of the donuts of which you speak so beautifully in the kitchen. It appears they are not in as abundance as usual. Not like the uh, ooh, uh, tre melons of which you are spotting, my dear. I know not where they go, you know. It, uh, it is, as we say in the French, uh, not my fucking problem. Oh, what a language. We oui, will. Oui. Oh, so uh, I said, fuck you. <laughs> That's odd. What, his accent? No. What he said about the donuts. There haven't been any donuts at the precinct either for a while now. The other cops are getting worried. And skinny. Hmm. Spriggan goes to cup his chin in his hand thoughtfully, but misses and clobbers the table with his face. Oh! Jesus, are you okay? Yes. Oh, happens all the time. As I was saying, there's... There seems to be some sort of curious donut shortage in town, and if I had read the script, I'd say they're being appropriated by the mob and possibly sold on the black market for a tidy profit. That's ridiculous plot talk. Now let's get back to this awkward flirting. She crosses her legs basic instinct style. Spriggan loses his bananas. Crikey dick! Waiter! We need more bananas! <laughs> The waiter brings over some bananas, but as Spriggan peels his, he accidentally squirts it out of its peel and it flies into Hester's mouth. Um, bravo, sir. Crikey dick, I'm so sorry again. Almost went right there. Oh, it's all right. I don't have much of a gag reflex. You know, this has possibly been the most romantic and inelegant date I've ever been on. You're surely winning my heart with your gangling melody. Yes, gosh. It really has been a perfect evening. The only thing that could ruin it is if by some strange coincidence I get a phone call which happens to have something to do with the aforementioned missing donuts, forcing me to end the date before we can get any kissy wissy woo wah. Crikey dick! How unscripted! Yes? Oh? Yes? Sir? Yes? 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 Yes, yes! 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 Jesus, wait for me, won't yes. you? Yes, I understand! I'm coming! Gosh darn it, Hester! <laughs> I'm so sorry, but, but I'm going to have to cut our date short. Spriggan looks upon his date with adorable tears in his eyes. Good God, what is it? Hester, that was Zoe. It's... It's... What's going on, Lucky? Oh, tell me. Oh, my bosom is heaving with anticipation. It's about the donuts. <laughs> I'm coming, donuts! It's okay! I'm coming to the rest! I'll pay then. Bonjour! Heretic! Heretic justice! At the police station, Chief Booby Winston, maternal figure tough as nails, stands at the door of our office addressing the precinct. Zoe stands beside her, resolutely looking out the window. Chief! Chief! Is it. <laughs> oh! Suddenly, everyone hears a crash and turns to see Spriggan has run into the door. What a <laughs> Chief! Chief! Is it true? Aye, hey, Sergeant, I'm afraid it is. It looks as though your rough handed and completely unrehearsed lines in the last scene were right. Donuts have been reported missing from precincts and stores all over New Bjork. Oh my god! <laughs> Pull 
yourself together, Spriggan. Sprinkles. I, I just can't bear to think about those poor, helpless donuts. Aye, this is a horrible time for all of us. I know some of ye have appetites out there. But rest assured, we're all here to work together. And we'll bring those responsible to justice. Hectic justice! I want all of you wankers to be on the lookout for anything suspicious. I want half-eaten cakes and cookies in cafes calibrated. I want croissants, crumbers and crisp buns cultivated. I want baguettes, bagels and bonbons brought in for questioning. I want tea cakes, potato cakes and tarts tried and trucked on in here. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth! <laughs> oh, you're so inspirational, Chief. And, and crikey, Dick, your breasts are enormous. Oh my god, seriously? Now, I want all of you to go out there and find me me culprits. Dismiss! Oh, yes. Let's go! go. We shall show this chance and it's the last thing we do. It has been a time. With your great big titty witty woo eyes. As the policemen leave, one of them hands a slip of paper to the chief. Here you go, chief. What? Hmm. Hmm. Reading. Legless Spriggan, I want you two to go down to the county morgue. It seems there's a furthering of the plot afoot. A dead body's been brought in, and they think it's got something to do with the donuts. But, Chief, surely you're not serious. I, I am serious. And don't call me Zoe and Spriggan make their way through the overacting extras who are preparing for a hopeful song and dance now. Off to the county morgue they go to follow orders, to attain answers, to seek solutions, but most importantly to find Spriggan a hanky. But will it outlast the entire season? Only time will tell. To be continued! Hectic Justice will continue next time. Will Lucky pull himself together to help Zoe find the missing donuts? Who is the mysterious and beautiful coroner? And will she have a spin-off series? What will they find of the dead body of Steve Monaghetti? Tune in next time for more Hectic Justice! Hectic Justice is brought to you by Bumbletard Productions and is written and produced by Ben Chapman. Featuring the voices and improvisational skills of Sam Marsden, Tony Bones Birch, Lauren Bock, Sean Cunningham, and Beck Chapman. Chronically guest starring Michael Dalton as Dolly Diamond, playing the sexy and corrupt Judge Anna Fieselbottom. This week's extra special guest stars were myself, cameoing as an overacting extra, and I'm Tony Martin, nationally renowned for having spent most of my life perfecting the art of audio flatulence. Trying to say